Hello everyone. It's been about 12 weeks since I published my last video. thought I'd show you guys what I've been working on here within the last week or so. With the radio shop closed, I thought it was important to create a little database for my radio collection, so I want to share that with you guys today. What you see again is an application called AppSheet. Again, I'm using my Google Sheet to drive this, and we'll spend some time here and I'll navigate through the application and show you how easy it is to set up one of these for yourself if you elect to do so, not only for your radio collection but others. Here you're just looking again at my uh, raw database. Again, this is my uh, Google Sheet. You can see my uh, headers at the top and then I've got the pertinent information. Again, you'll see the uh, columns that I chose to add uh, from left to right here as I'm scrolling through just to catch some of the pertinent information regarding the uh, radio. Some of it is uh, detailed and some is uh, high-level notes. Again, I may expand on this and actually uh, put some detailed notes in here and actually add the parts and pieces that I replace. Again, if I elect to uh, open up a new shop in the future and uh, catalog the actual uh, replacement uh, parts and pieces and track the expenses and time for doing so. Again, just leveraging my uh, Google Sheet, then you can see with the uh, App Sheet application, uh, you can import the data in, and this is the uh, list view, and this is what you actually uh, see. Now we'll switch off here real quick and take a look at the uh, detailed view for this particular um, item. And you can see here I'm just scrolling from uh, the top to the bottom. And again, all I'm doing is showing uh, what your uh, detailed information would look like on your uh, web browser or your uh, smart uh, phone, Android or iOS device. And that's what I like about the application because I've got this now where I can see it on the web on my uh, smartphone or my uh, iPad itself. Uh, comes in, I think, really, really handy and uh, will add some uh, value for sure. So let's take a look here at some of the uh, other uh, feature sets and I'll show you how to actually do a data entry and some other things that I have embedded here within the, uh, the database as well. Hey folks, thanks for joining me. This is my next you may have also noticed I've got a little URL that points back to my YouTube channel, which is really neat. So here I'm just showing the playlist for the little Tom Thumb radio. Um, again, I could uh, link this back to any location here. The photos inserted, I could insert more than one. And of course you have your uh, zoom in uh, features as well. There's another little neat feature here as well uh, that I wanted to show where you can create some uh, charts. So I think the charts add some value as well. Here I think I'm just looking at the brand. Uh, you could play around with this. Again, I've got uh, four records in there for Motorola, as you can see. When I click on the bar graph, it just brings up the Motorola or the subset of those particular radios. Again, that's uh, not real data, just one of the Motorola radios is actually in my collection, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I think it's a uh, really, really neat application. So uh, let me show you uh, what the data entry itself looks like. At the bottom of the page you probably saw a plus symbol, so that's what I hit. And actually now it allows me to go in and actually update the record. Again, inside of AppSheet, this is what it looks like now. And this will actually be synchronizing or reading back to my uh, Google Sheet uh, online. And again, you see that I do have some, um, some coding uh, built in that's available within AppSheet, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's me do uh, some of the uh, the tube counts. Again, the tubes themselves is a freeform feel for now, but I may change that. Again, I did put the receiver type here with a drop down uh, number of bands. I made that uh, actually where I can just toggle one, two, three. Uh, so you'll see some feature sets that I've just been playing around with, and I'll probably modify some of this later is I uh, continue to expand or put more of my radios inside the database, I'll probably find other information that um, adds value. And again, here are just more of the fields again that I've uh, elected to uh, utilize here with my cabinet style. Um, the uh, cabinet material itself, which I can uh, specify. Uh, I think putting the, uh, the weight of the radio in there is important as well, just in case I would ever decide to sell any um, later on. I can have that uh, documented and uh, do a better job of estimating uh, some of my uh, shipping expense if I elect to go down that route. 
and again the uh, purchase price and what I feel like the replacement value itself would be uh, pre or post uh, restoration. Uh, I do have number of hours and then I do have a uh, notes section right now which is just a, a long list and uh, that could be modified uh, accordingly. So uh, I think this is uh, pretty self-explanatory. I'll sync this data now and then we'll go back and uh, you'll see when I click back on this record again I'm able to expand and you'll see all the information that I just typed in. So it just makes it uh, I think quick and easy. Uh, very very simple process. You can uh, set one of these up in no time. Here you can add a photo. Again I'm not adding one. I'm just showing you the photo feature. You can see I click there on my uh, tablet and I just inserted uh, a black video. I'll synchronize that and that'll bring that back up as a uh, thumbnail. So real quick let's go back and look at the chart again since I made a change there to the silver tone. You'll notice here on the chart that I show two silver tones now in the collection uh, noted here. Then if I click on that again I can just bring up the uh, silver tone radios in the collection again. That one I just added was not a real radio. I uh, just did that for demonstration purposes. Now let me show you another application I've been messing around with. It's an AM station query. So I hope by showing or demonstrating the databases and how simple it is to set one up, it adds some value for other collectors out there or other hobbyists. Um, you know, again, it could spark anything from house inventory to uh, any other. So again, hey, thanks for your patience. Again, I know it's been 12 weeks since I uploaded a video. I appreciate you uh, hanging in there and uh, all the new subscribers to my channel as well. It's uh, amazing how many new subscribers and still continue to get comments on some of the older uh, videos. So um, stay tuned. We'll see uh, you know how we go forward maybe with opening the uh, shop back up here um, you know down the road. Anyway thanks again. Take care.